I never understood the concept of flirting until after marriage. Yeah, and we had this uh, one girl who sort of like cut her hand and started writing letters to me in blood and posting it on Instagram. Now, tell me, who is the most flirtatious in the four? Dirty. Currently, it's... Currently? Currently. But they can't flirt, apparently. They can't. Banks. Somehow, I never used to... I never understood the concept of flirting until after marriage. Now, I flirt. After What? marriage, yeah. Bhai, ye to khulasa hai. Mujhe, it would, I never related to that word, that concept of flirting because I was... But because then I, how did you get your wife to go out I with you? I never flirted. In fact, I understand the importance of it now. Oh, you wow. know, yeah. Did that's she what, teach you? She didn't teach me but I understood that, you know, if something happened with a mistake, then I said, it makes her happy and I'm like, oh my god, I should do this more often. Mistake with a mistake. Never too late to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah. you know, she's been so amazing, so patient with me, you know, because I think it's beautiful to be this way yeah. and girls love it. Absolutely. And she loves it and I didn't know that. So, <laughs> now I know. So, yeah, I'm happy to know that she loves it. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hashtag couple goals, hashtag ideal husband right here with me. Tell me, who is the most goofy? Goofy. Goofy. Yeah, maybe. Goofy. Yeah. Who is the most goofy papa vibes? Papa. Papa. Papa vibes, yeah. Father vibes. Yeah. Yeah. What do they do, guys? Yeah. Like, who acts as the elderly? Ah, it could be the three of them, I think. Not you. Not me for sure. Because you're the girl. I used to be, but not now. Okay, not now. Someone's given up on that. Like, like, no point to swimming. No, okay. Or the papa one, no. Or the most mischievous one, Shaitan. I think. I think Keshu can be. The two of us do that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now, guys, anything extreme? Uh, which you've done with any fan make that you would want to share with us? So there's this. Uh, a uh, fan who would you know come to every place where we were performing at like including Israel and and I think and what she did was you know she knew that I loved sugar gliders hote hain kuch jo bade pyare squirrel type hote hain jo glide karte hain air mein to wo pata hai usko pata laga ki mujhe pasand hai profile profile follow kar raha tha instagram pe to israel mein aake bola ki usne mere liye indonesia se mangwaya hai wo sugar glider to mujhe laga ki you know mujhse bina puche because i don't want to take care of an animal या कोई भी जिस जिसका मैं ख्याल नहीं रख पाऊँ मैं टाइम नहीं मिल रहा मेरे को मैं उसको डेडिकेट करना चाहता हूँ अपना टाइम फिर तो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टाइप एक देने जैसा हो गया तो मेरे को बहुत बुरा लगा स्वीट भी लगा कि किया लेकिन उस टाइम फिर हमने एक इंटरव्यू में बोल दिया कि इसने ऐसा किया और हम ले नहीं पाए तो आई थिंक द वे वी प्रॉब्ली एक्सप्रेस्ड वॉज एंट दैट प्लेजेंट And I think then the she probably felt really offended and hurt. कि उसके बाद उन्होंने हमारा हमसे एकदम ही मतलब हमें block कर दिया completely. So that honestly from our side it was wrong. Yes, what she did was also a bit extreme in in the sense you know without asking she did something like that. So that for me is something that I still have in my heart. This was seven years ago. Wow. But I still I still feel it. Yeah, and we had this uh, one girl who. Sort of like cut her hand and started writing letters to me in blood and posting it on Instagram. And I had no idea that it was blood, like because I was just like scrolling through and I saw these posts mm. until I saw some fans commenting there saying that, listen, what are you doing? And then I saw the picture at the end where she cut her hand and she kept writing these letters. So then we had like some really amazing fans who actually went and started, you know, talking to her and telling her that, listen, this is not the way to express love and uh, the band is not about that. They're, you know, so. I mean that was really cool mm -hmm. that all the fans got together and kind of helped her through this, mm -hmm. but that was the first. Uh, I thought you said that I've was really cool that she cut herself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> you should stop. And he just said, "Yeah, also." He's like, "Yeah." That was really cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this weird instances once that we were in Marriott. There was a New Year's party. Then one Sardar came with a bunch of grapes and he fed me a grape. <laughs> that was super <laughs> random. Then there was one lady who just came in, I think Mauritius or one of these, you know, international destinations where we had a show at, and she just came with a huge, huge crystal like vase. And like, like, what are you going to do with it? You can't check it in. It's the worst thing to try to check in. I was like, sorry, I can't accept this. So that was also like really random. So these random things happened to me. Yeah, more like yeah. Yeah. correct. Okay, actually, maybe like some yeah, yeah some yeah, absurd stuff <laughs> in life. <laughs> 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 I cannot get over it. I'm just imagining. Oh, Sardar, I'm 